Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 with me, Get Daved. So last time we were minding our own business exploring Korriban and we found this uh, dark side place where I think we're going to basically recreate sort of the spiritual journey Luke had on Hoth or pardon me, on Dagobah when he I don't know, I think the song on the track is called, like, The Magic Tree or whatever. Aha! Yep, a journey through our past. Do not heed the words of the Jedi Council. The Republic will fall if we do not act now. Already the Mandalorians have taken three systems along the rim. They will only grow more powerful with time. Hello, Bastila. Come stand with me. We will use our might to help the Republic in its time of need. Join Revan and I. Together, we will battle this menace. The Jedi Council is wise, but will take too long to deal with this threat. We must act now. To stop the Mandalorians. I always Have wondered what he'd look like with a face. Your masters speak well of you, of your skills in battle. Join us. Hmm. The Jedi Council is wise, but can make mistakes. History has proven this time and time again. The Council seems content to watch, to debate, while entire systems fall to the Mandalorians. If we don't act now, there may be no Republic army to assist in the future. I sense you will join us. What are your reasons? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I always interpreted the Exile's choice as number six and Revan's. Delay would have brought ruin, and there was much suffering. You had to act. It was within our power to end the war, and the Council chose to debate behind closed doors while planets burned. I'm not going to be an apologist for them because my personal conviction is that they were wrong. Yes, that's right. Without us, the Republic would have been no more. And the Council? Their vaunted wisdom, bred only in action. And that would have led to destruction greater than anything born of the dark side. So, if you could do it all again, the real question is, would you? The Mandalorians await on the edge of space, eager to crush the Republic. You know how this turns out. Exactly. Would you do it any different, knowing what it costs you? Knowing what it costs the rest? A life of exile and being ripped from the Force. So knowing all that would transpire, would you still follow Revan and I? Excellent. And now you are all alone. Would you join me now? You didn't follow Revan and I down our path. Join us. Your journey hasn't ended yet. That's true. Are you so certain? Every step along the way, we did what we thought was right. Perhaps the same path lays before you, but the time of words are done. Now it is time you experienced the full power of the dark side. Temptation to protect myself with lightsaber rising. Alright. 
Oh goodness. Uh, I'm gonna try stasis. Oh my goodness. There we go. All right, me and you, Malik. Oh my goodness. Um. <laughs> and I have serious concerns over what's gonna happen when the stun wears off. Toasted myself a little bit, that's okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm glad the rest of them died. Force points regenerating nicely. Good. reminds me, well, I, I should say, when I was playing through the Old Republic, my favorite world had a segment like this. Um, you can see it on Snaplife's channel, where you're sort of having the metaphysical experience. And part of what I liked about it was it reminding me of this scene in World War II, actually. Or season two of uh, the animated Clone Wars cartoon, not the CG version. The one that ends right before episode three begins. Anakin has this little vision quest thing that has a very similar vibe as well. I always kind of like the transcendental journey stuff. Step into an undiscovered country. After the thing we just did with all those Jedi and the trip down memory lane, a little anticlimactic to go back to shooting down bats. Also, I don't know if you're watching closely. Maybe it's just that I was in combat. It, did, it is starting to look like my force points are starting to regenerate a little more slowly than normal. Severed arm, always my favorite uh, thing to encounter. Good. If their attacks weren't so weak, I would be tempted to go with uh, some AOE. I've got great HP though, or they're resisting all of my damage, I'm not really sure which. Oh, 
Well, I take it back. The constant attacking did really start to add up. Give yourself 10 get day points if you question my decision. We'll even do it one more time. I believe st or Stasis buys you four turns, but we can test that. Right about now, yeah. Theory affirmed. Oh my goodness! I'm apparently fighting every single one in this cave. I'm in no way starting to get concerned about my HP level. Alright. Seems like the more difficult ones gave less experience there. these guys lived off of. There's an awful lot of them and there appears to be nothing but stone everywhere. Better late than never. to have similar effectiveness. Our lightsaber isn't fully upgraded, but neither are our guns. Okay. This has the look of something to it. Yeah, great decrease in our force point regeneration. Public? We've lost another heavy droid transport. How can we break through the Mandalorian lines without support? The path is mined and the place is crawling with enemies. I know we've got our orders to press forward, but we're at quarter strength. We can't, General. It's impossible. We need to retreat. Execute her. Throwing our lives away to storm the path. Too many Mandalorians. Too few of us. We already lost half the men just getting to the path. They've got the rest of the company pinned down by the crash site. You can't possibly ask the troops to go forward. If you ask us to charge, will it make a difference? Will our sacrifice mean something? It will mean everything. forward if you ask it. The path is mined. If you ask us to charge, there will be losses, General. Yep. Thank you, General. Thank you. And unfortunately, I lack the ability to do much of anything with this. Interesting. I wonder if that's bad. This seems a bit more like uh, what I would call an objective mistake than uh, the other one. Sending your troops to charge over a minefield. Yeah, maybe that is something I'd change. The choice to uh, defy the council, that sort of character forming change. And I don't know. Even if you do change things, I, 
would not necessarily make things better. This one though, I mean, those guys just would have had meaningless deaths. Some fine pottery. successfully defeated that enemy with the help of geometry. Wicker Footlocker. Actually, this stuff sounds pretty good. Chenny accuracy gloves, hey? Hmm. Probably not as good for us. Good for Bayo Dura, though. Also, I guess we don't have the minimum constitution for uh, Super Pack we just picked up. Super implant. All right, onward through memory lane, everybody. Hmm. That's either a Hissus or a Tukata. Good, or pardon me, a Tarantid. Still, I would way rather face one of these guys. That wasn't so bad. Good work, me. I'm willing to bet these two paths rejoin. shield suit. Well, it sounds like it keeps you safe. Nebulish's data pad. Oh no. You mowed down your friends. Well, he showed all of them. Kind of a tragic ending, I was not expecting that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I was expecting them all to be dead, but not like that. Well, since that was a dead end, now that has me worried about what I'm going to find on the other side. Perhaps Revan himself? We dealt with Malak already. Maybe Kreia? Aha! You are to be commended for making it this far. Just going to shut the door there. Uh, that's not the real her. You revisited the dark moments of your past, and now you must face the present. Your confusion is natural. The others and I will help you understand. Oh, is it going to be all my friends? Get away from her. She's a dark Jedi. Atten, I've had enough of your snipe, Lieutenant.
try to mediate hey, there. What's the commotion here? Stay out of this, Beodor. This is a personal dispute between Atten and myself. You're threatening Atten with a lightsaber, and I'm supposed to just stay out of it? No. Everybody settle down. T3? The three of you would challenge me? You sorely underestimate the power of the Force. Think again, Kreia. Your dark influence will end. Your friends are all arrayed against me. Will you stand for this? Hmm. Well, maybe. No, I don't think I should take a passive roll. I wonder what Kray will think. This is a very interesting dilemma. Actually, yeah, maybe I will do this. I want to denounce this illusion. So you will do nothing. Apathy is death. Worse than death. Because at least a rotting corpse feeds the beasts and insects. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. <laughs> apathy is death. Statement. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Well, apathy is death. Yes, I, I am gathering that. Oh, oh my goodness. Apathy is death. You have left me an opening. I interpret it as an act of defiance to this whole ordeal. Some artificial conflict being presented without context. Your entire party has been killed. Okay. Crazy. Well, I guess we're not allowed to be apathetic. Or dead. Don't mind me. Oh, a little alarm for myself. We're still gonna finish this one. You are to be commended for making it this far. You've re your confusion is natural. All right, we're just gonna blitz through this. Get away this. from her. She's a dark Jedi. Yeah, I know. Atten, I... Try to recreate the conversation. Hey, what's the commotion here? Stay up. Yes. Crazy old T3 is gonna get involved the, again. Think again, Kreia. You're dark. Your friends are all arrayed against me. Will you stand for this? You, of all people, would judge me so. Am I not worthy of redemption? As established earlier, you are. There's the apathy is death thing. I guess they are forcing me to side with my companions or against her. No, I'm not going to kill a whole bunch of people to save one. Oh, but I don't really believe... <laughs> oh, game. Really? Really? Well, now I just want to know what would happen if we sided with Craig. <laughs> Alright, everybody, hold on a minute. Okay, and we're back. So I guess we'll stand with Kreia. I will be honest with you. I have fallen to the dark side. Does this change your decision? Well, 
Like, I don't get why I have to attack her with... Ah, uh, whatever. So we get light side points for siding with a dark Jedi and killing all of my friends. The even the odds. This is a Mass Effect 3 ending kind of crap. Actually, Goto, you'll be first. Oh, they're really easy to kill. So we got... <laughs> well, I'll stick with that. But I mean, it's all asinine. <laughs> oh, Darth Revan. Uh, okay. And evil me. Uh oh. I don't like how this is going. <laughs> Woo! Alright. Probably should have not gone for the stun earlier. Oh, wait. We slowed her. That will work to help us out. Not significantly, but you know. I'm not ready! <laughs> I never wanted to be a gunslinger, it was Y Caliber's idea! Alright. I'll just stay mostly safely over here. He doesn't want to chase me. Shh! Yes, put your lightsabers away, Revan. I'm just gonna pop out here for a second. And do very minimal damage to you. Oh my goodness. How can you do so much damage? Get the roids! Get the roids! Dexterity, that'll help the defense. And... Are you gonna let me... Nope, one item per round, okay. Oh, there's a mummified body. There we go, use the range. Defeated you with the powers of geometry. Or come closer than I had previously. Get him! Well, the guns helped, and the drugs. Guns and drugs. The dangers you faced in this tomb were real. But these images of the past serve to prepare you for your future. You overestimate the power of the tomb. Any change you feel is coming from within yourself. Instinctually, you know your true path. I don't even know Just what that means. Feelings. They will lead you in conquering the many challenges that the future holds for you. Surely you have felt what awaits. Events are shaping themselves about you, seeking to draw you into their center. Search the room you are in. You should be able to unlock a passage that leads outside the tomb. I was hoping for loot. Oh good, a short lightsaber. His war sword, hey?
2 to 16. Well, maybe, oh, that's not that great. <laughs> Seeing as how crazy those last two fights were. Another Ichani shield suit. That's the problem with randomly generated drops. And Joe Lee's robe. I believe it is restricted to neutral. Quite unfortunately. Well... Maybe we can intentionally lose a bunch of influence with somebody who's a Jedi and they can have it. Bunch of gloves, we'll worry about those later. And the Dorp. And we now went out where we came in. That makes minimal sense. Well, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Um, <laughs> not, yeah. And in the next time, I guess we'll walk back to the ship and get our friends. I'll see you there.